There's my, there's my Penelope. Yes, my dogs give me kisses. Some people may think it's gross. This is how me and my husband show our love to our dogs. And they show their love to us. You know, even if I'm laughing half the time, if I'm holding one of my baby chihuahuas, uh, their tongue flies in my mouth. So why not just do it? See? There we go, baby, baby girl. Her eyes get so big. It's okay. Shut up. Yeah. You're going to lick all mommy's uh, lip, lip, lip plumper off. See, your eyes get all wide. Hi, Pee Pee. Her nickname is Pee Pee, as in P dot P dot. Settle. Well, her nickname is Pee Pee, and, you know, not P E E like P. So, guys, settle. So her nickname is Pee Pee. P dot P. P dot P. So I got this very nice, expensive top from the lady that gave me the Christmas tree. Her name is Betty. She's an older lady. She's like 84 or 85 now. Um, she was... She got a new Christmas tree, and she asked if I wanted the old one. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I'll take it, because it's better than the other one. Guys, stop it. It's better than the other ones, or the other one we have. You know, it's very beautiful, very... It's a four-foot spruce, and I used to have very, very expensive ornaments, and... Several years ago at the old house, I was having a really rough time. I think I was coming off the fentanyl and going through a drawl, and I knocked over our eight and a half to nine foot Christmas tree. I knocked it right over. It was plugged in and everything, and I stomped on all of the goddamn ornaments. And these were ones that were, which they're called hand blown, so they were hand sculpted and whatever that means. Yes, haha, ha, hand blown, make a joke, but that's not what it means. That's but my husband would not let me pick up any of the ornaments cuz he got pissed. So, you know, cuz I did that. So, he picked up his little Star Trek ornament from uh Hallmark and all the Barbie little Barbie ornaments he got me. He wouldn't let me pick them up and basically Everything got thrown away except the tree. And then years ago, we were moving here. We had no room for the tree, so we ended up getting this $20 tree. It's it's from Dollar General. It's like a pipe cleaner tree. It's just one of those cheap trees that you put in the corner. You load a bunch of stuff up on it. and doesn't look that bad. Well, this one is a spruce and is gorgeous, gorgeous, and that's all we fucking need, it's just me and him and our dogs, you know, and I wasn't even going to put a tree up this year, but I'm like, fuck it, get in a better mood, Vanessa, lift up your mood, lift up your mood, but my makeup, my makeup is holding very nice, that was earlier, and then I just zhuzhed it up. I just zhuzhed up my makeup by putting some powder on my face. This is my regular skin, other than just a little bit of powder on my face. There's no... There's no concealer. There's no... There's no... Nothing. So I take very good care of my face. I have highlighters on, hard candy brand highlighter on the white, and then I have the brown, and, my, and of course my cheeks are a little red because I think I have rosacea, I'm not sure. I try to just put some brown right here to contour the nose. And if you 
don't do it, right? It's going to make it look bigger than it is. So it actually looks nice. So, and this is the green, greenish blue that I have. And you can actually take your brushes, gently, gently dip them in water, and make your makeup palettes more intense. But do not use a shitload of water on your brush. Dip it in water and then dip it, in a, dip it in water a couple of times and then take your brush and take a tissue either from toilet, toilet paper would work and you just dab a little bit of that extra off but where it has enough wetness where you can actually take a very fine brush the eyebrow brush and gently go all, all over the bottom of this eye liner but this is actually um a blue metallic eyeliner and it just looks very cute very cute and if any makeup falls down here i just say fuck it and blend it in you know my hair is pink through here that's starting to go my hair's still purple so i can't put my uh i can't put my um oh what do you call it I can't put my blue in my hair because my hair's purple right now. And the purple's not coming out, so I'm purple. I got a red, and then the red didn't work. The red didn't work. So what was you supposed to do, you know? But I love this cute little top. Look at the applique. Looks like something that you would buy from JCPenney or Macy's. You know, there's pearls. I don't care if they're fake. I couldn't fit in this t-shirt to save my life. And I dropped probably a good 25 pounds because this is basically... Oh, also, on my new hormones, my breasts are growing again. So I still want my implants. Um, I, still am, I still am going to get my implants. I just have to lose the weight for the doctor. That's all. Just lose the weight. So I hope that I, I'm going to go to like Walmart, pull a scale off the goddamn fucking, pull a scale, uh, the, the demo scale off the damn shelf, step on the damn thing to see how much I weigh. And if my weight has gone down from 225, 230 down to like 201 or 25, I think my uh, cosmetic surgeon would be happy with that. He wanted me to go to 185. But I'm not doing much exercise and I'm just not eating a lot. I'm not starving myself. I mean, I'll eat, a, I'll eat a half a container, you know, those big containers of green olives with the little pimento or whatever it is, what it's, whatever it's called, that little red thing inside. I will eat handfuls of those. If I actually liked vodka, that would be my drink. And I would have it filled to the top with olives if it was vodka with, on ice. But I don't drink any alcohol anymore other than when we were at the fine winery and alcohol shop that they actually redid fancy. Um, they were doing a wine testing or testing a, a wine. Uh, they didn't even card me. I'm like, good. I am trying to be to get back to where I was at, but I can't because I've had several breakdowns over the last couple of years. And for eight months, eight months, severely, severely depressed. Severely depressed. So, what do you do about that? You know, what happens when you're so depressed you don't get a shower for a week and a half to two weeks 
and and I and you end up getting sores, bed sores. That's when you start cleaning yourself up in the shower and the soap burns so bad and all it is is ivory and it burns the sores so bad that I could scream. But I use some hot water and cool water just to clean it, clean the damn areas and thank God we have a, a fucking hose, wand, uh, to wash yourself with, you know, the shower, the shower hickey is, um, is on a hose, and it's an, it's a very, it's that Japanese version, let me show you, it's nothing fancy, I mean, one way it's a little fancy, it, it really pushes out, um, a lot of water with very limited, um, and it, they, and it just came with this top, and it does like three, it does three different settings. I've seen fancier ones at Walmart, but this is okay for now. Those, those beads in there, not beads, those, those, um, whatever they are inside. They, it's basically water, water filtration. And then it has three different settings. And it saves water. You save 30% off the water. And there it is. So, I'm going to take a couple photos, and then when Paul comes home, I'm going to have him take a couple of photos of me, because I got in this cute little top, actually, and uh, unfortunately, remember I told you we ordered me another makeup palette to replace the one that I bought in this store, but it was missing the mat, it was missing one of the browns. That was no big deal. I'm not, who cares about a matte brown? But the fact that you bought it, you want it to be what it comes with. Look how bad Kohl's.com shipped. Look at this. I'm not opening it up. It was all over the box. Three pods are broken. Three make three pods are broken. There's the powder all over my my fuck. It's just it's fucked. So we paid we paid $24 for that. $24 and then Paul's tennis shoe was $39.99. So if he likes the shoe, we're going to um, order another pair online. I'm going to force him to if I can do it. The other palette, this one that smashed to hell and back, we're taking it into Kohl's. I'm getting a $24 fucking credit because there's like a couple of more palettes I like. We hardly ever use our Kohl's card only to buy shoes for Paul. But the last pair of shoes he bought, he bought them at Walmart for like 35 bucks. 25 or 35 bucks. And he liked them. We're not really into the name brand shit. But we always go to Kohl's looking for Paul's shoes because he wears a specific size. He might as well be a size 16, triple E, 9F, whatever, whatever. That's a joke, obviously. He, his shoe size is 13. Thir, his, his shoe size is 13 E four wide or something like that. It's basically size 13 and then it's like e e4 wide. So it's like it's like let me see what it fucking says. Yep. Size 13 wide 4e. It's Fila memory foam go the distance. So it's 13 Size 4E, and you can see, look at this. We're lucky they're still fucking white, for God's sakes. We're lucky they're still in good shape, considering what the hell is all over his... Look at this shit. The makeup is inside the fucking... Look, look how disgusting this is. You see that? Look. 
This is all over the goddamn box. I'm pissed that they would ship it out. Why the hell would you just put in in this type of bag? And why I understand the shoes. Why the hell can't you put bubble wrap around the goddamn pallet? From now on, when I look at pallets, I'm make I'm a I'll open it. You know, I'll make sure if it's easy to open. I'll double check it at the store to make sure nothing is broken inside, like the pods didn't fall out or or they're not crushed. And if they have a problem with it, they can stick it up their ass. You know. Because if you want me to buy your products, I'm going to make sure if it's just not, if it's not plastic sealed and you can just actually open them up, that's what Miss Vanessa's doing. Now, if it's, if it's plastic wrapped, but you can see the, the pods, who cares? At least they look fine. And then I bought a couple of these bracelets and you could see how the stones are falling out of it. And they wanted $30. $30 for it would be worth for this junk. But I wear it because that's the only sparkly nice bracelet that I have. All and I don't I don't care if it's fucking rhinestones. But you're you got you're telling me you can't make a decent rhinestone bracelet? And make them not fall out just from regular wear and tear, which is, it's not like I'm banging it on the damn wall. Sebastian attacked poor Toby. And then here goes Maggie with her barking. You see how PP? I call her PP as a nickname, not P E E. It's P dot P dot. And I know Peter Mon's gonna be like, "You stole my dog's nickname." No, I didn't. But I am using it. And unless you copyrighted it, her nickname is PP. And actually, that's what they called the mother. As a nick, her mother is PP, and her her mother's name is Penelope. But I don't know if he told me this or not. But I remembered P Penelope, and I'm like, it just fits her. So she has the same name as her mother. But I love this this. Uh, if I could find some more, um, this is nothing special. Meaning, I can find tops like this. I love the fact. I love a good V neck. You know, because then it makes the shoulders don't look that big. And I love the fact that this is, you know, up the arm like that. You know, it's not, I just love it. And I'm not, I'm not that fat anymore. I mean, a little bit. Let me try to show you, damn it. These are the pants. Um, see, look. I'm still overweight. But if I can put a top on like this and still look fucking good, who gives a shit? And my tits look good. My girls are starting to grow again from my hormones. Thank fucking God. If you look at my, my um, old photos, you'll see a lot more boy than girl. Because I wasn't on my female hormones. And I wasn't on the spirolactone to kick down the male testosterone hormone. And, you, you know, the last time I got my blood work checked was like eight months back. I was supposed to see my doctor six months, at, like in six months. But with the car wreck and the rental and all the craziness and the fucking... Trying to get re trying to get my paperwork ready for the goddamn court hearing on the seventeenth. My second court hearing, I'm lucky to even give it because the appeals court didn't want me to fucking get another court hearing. I was on disability for years. If I get it back 
if whenever 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 it comes out you know every couple of years if you have to reapply not reapply but basically update your case with your psychiatrist or something I'll be going to my psychiatrist because if I would have went to Dr. Kreinbrook instead of their stupid people down there, I probably wouldn't have been kicked off my disability. Because last time Dr. Kreinbrook sent over the paperwork they needed, and I, they could tell that I was still ill from all the paperwork, so it is what it is. I'm still, I'm, I'm worse now. I'll actually hyperventilate where I can't breathe. And then I drop to the floor within like a half a second. I either cry hysterically or I leave my body or I switch into an altar. It all depends on how bad it gets. There's days where I'm so upset I wish I could just say, Sally, take over me. You know, I want to take the back seat, drive the car. But DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder, Old term, multiple personalities. You know, I talked to my doctor about shock therapy. Both doctors. And it's not like the olden days, you know, where you're totally fully awake. They knock you out like a surgical procedure. And then they do the treatment of shocking you. And then you, I think, go into a seizure or something. And then you end up coming up out of it. And they don't just do one session. They do a, several. But my one doctor, he was very reluctant. He did talk about it with me. But the other doctor said, Vanessa, it's not going to help you at all. This won't help you. My luck, the goddamn shit, would make me lose my memory of my husband because you can lose memories. You can you yeah use really you can lose memories you can you can lose them and it could be the good memories and my pee pee is up on that damn table I don't like when she does it because look look she's half on the table pee pee Penelope come on get down. Get down. Jesus. Oh. Anyways, here's the little purse I've been using. I've had it for several years. And I put the little charm from another bag on there. There's cute little hearts and, you know, a key. You know, let me try to show you. There, you see the key right there. It's just really cute. And this bag is a knockoff of Louis Vuitton. If I'm saying is saying the uh, pro, pro or if I'm saying the name right, Louis Vuitton or Louis Vuitton, or whatever. There's a bag that he that that they that he that that the company made like this, but it had LV all over it. Well. This is so close, and it, in the in the style, it was the same style. So, I love this. It just can't hold much. But earlier, my dogs got into a fight, and that's why I had to jump off of live. You, uh, Facebook. My one dog was in the castle, and he, and Sebastian went in there and attacked him and ripped part of his skin off. And then I seen blood, and I was just horrified. He's not aggressive like that all the time. He gets like that. We're putting him in the crate for timeout. That's what he'll be put in the crate. And I don't like doing it, but he will go in there for time out. Because he can't be doing that. And it doesn't happen all the time either. It doesn't. 
but it just plain fucking sucks ass. You know? He's in bad shape. You know? Poor thing. Not not only is Toby... Stop it. Stop barking. Not only is he old... Stop it. Not only is uh, Toby's old... You know, not only is he old, he's crabby. And then he pisses all over shit. And I'm like, damn. Sebastian... Stop it! Stop it! For your protection, I may put you in the goddamn... Toby, stop growling. Because that's going to make him go off. See, I hate that. Get. Get. No! I'm going to get going off the camera just to make sure there's not a second fight. Love you guys. Bye-bye. I'll make sure it's taken care of.